guys, Trex here. Happy Christmas Eve, everybody. Today, I've created a list of the top 15 games that you should totally, definitely get for Christmas 2014. Please note that this is not a list of my favorite games, nor my best games of 2014, as those will both be different videos. So today is Christmas Eve, and there's that means that there's still time for you to pick up these games before Christmas. Let's begin. Number 15, Broforce. Broforce is not a complete game, but that does not stop it from being a good game, and I can safely say that this is a safe early access purchase. Broforce may be one of the dumbest games on the market, but also the best. You are a team of movie action stars, aka the Broforce, and your quest is to infiltrate communist areas and to kill Satan, along with locals, pigs, guys with dynamite strapped to them, demons from the depths of hell, and communists. Broforce is currently on sale for $11 on Steam, but if you have your doubts about the game, try the free version, The Expender Bros. Next game! Number 14. Toy Box Turbos. Toy Box Turbos brings back the good old Micro Machines franchise in a new, prettier form. In Toy Box Turbos, you select from a wide variety of vehicles, ranging from moon rovers to tanks, to take on your opponents in several different fun maps. The multiplayer is also great. It's currently on sale for $7.50 on Steam, half of its usual list price. Once again, if you have your doubts about the game, you can download the free demo. But hurry, the sale won't last much longer. Next game! Number 13, Hammerwatch. Hammerwatch is a dungeon-crawling RPG, the exact opposite of the genre of games I like. However, with its fun gameplay, easy-to-learn mechanics, and fantastic graphics, soundtrack, and multiplayer, Hammerwatch has found its way in my favorite games category of my Steam library. It is currently $3 in the Steam sale, and it can often be found for $2 in a daily deal. However, don't let this $1 difference keep you from playing an incredible game. Next game! Number 12, Age of Empires 2 HD. This game brings back the old real-time strategy franchise Age of Empires. This series is the only real-time strategy that I really play, and in my mind, nothing is comparable to it. You have to build your own civilization from a small settlement into a vast empire, slaying enemies, breaking alliances, and building your kingdom to do so. It is currently $7 on Steam, and don't forget that awesome The Forgotten DLC. Next game! Number 11, Papers, Please. Papers, Please is one of the best games of 2013. It places you on the border of a communist country that has recently reopened its gates to immigrants. In Papers, Please, you must screw over other people to keep your family alive. It also has one of the most nerve-wracking moments in any game, that moment being when you let an immigrant through and sit on the edge of your seat, waiting to hear that little buzz meaning you screwed up. Papers, Please is only $5 on Steam right now and is a worthy addition to any library. Next game! Number 10. The Binding of Isaac or The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. The Binding of Isaac is one of the greatest indie games ever created. With its fun gameplay, extreme difficulty, and massive procedurally generated dungeons, every run is different. Every run is fun. The deep the recent release of Rebirth includes all of the content from The Binding of Isaac, all of the content from the DLC Wrath of the Lamb, and much more. The original game is only $2.5 on Steam right now, while Rebirth is $11.25. Both games are great, and both are worth getting. Next game! Number 9, Gunpoint. In Gunpoint, you play as Richard Conway, freelance spy. You must venture through the storyline, eventually having to take down... Gunpoint has some very fun gameplay, with the hyper jump trousers, the door kicker ability, and the very unique crosslink, which allows you to rewire an entire building to your needs. Gunpoint is currently $6, but also has a free demo if you have your doubts. Next game! Number 8. Thomas was alone. Thomas was alone is one of my favorite indie games of all time. It is some of the best character development in any game I've played. However, the characters are simple rectangles. Some of you may be wondering, well, how can a rectangle have more depth than a Commander Shepard of Mass Effect? Well, play this game and you'll find out. Thomas was alone is currently two and a half dollars on Steam and is definitely worth getting. Next game, number seven. Valiant Hearts, The Great War, or Soldats and Connors, Memoirs de la Grande Guerre. Valiant Hearts is a decent game from Ubisoft, who, as you may know, released Assassin's Creed Poopity this year. Valiant Hearts tells the story of four wonderful characters in their quest to get through this horrible war. You'll meet Emile, 
Freddy, Carl, Anna, and Walt in this game, and each one is as unforgettable as Thomas or Clara from Thomas Was Alone. Valiant Hearts is currently $9 on Steam, but will be cheaper in a daily deal, somewhere around $6. However, it is a must-get for this Christmas holiday. Do yourself a favor and buy this game. Next game! Number 6. Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of Mordor was a surprise for me. I watched several videos of it, and to me, it just seemed average. However, when I found an extremely cheap deal on Kingwin.net, I just had to buy it. In my time with Shadow of Mordor, I have slain countless Uruk, explored a vast map, and have gotten to live all of my Middle-Earth fantasies. Shadow of Mordor is currently $38 on Steam, but you can find it for around $17 on Kingwin.net, which just gives you a Steam key in turn. Next game, number 5. Here we are in the top 5, and these games have beaten out incredible games like Valiant Hearts, Shadow of Mordor, Thomas Was Alone, and Papers, Please. What game is higher on my list than these games? Just Cause 2. Just Cause 2 is an incredible open world game from Square Enix, and has such a large map you'll never run out of things to do. You can hijack a plane, drive a car off a cliff, fly a hot air balloon to the top of the map and parachute down, jump between rockets to stop a satellite from reaching orbit, the possibilities are endless. Just Cause 2 is currently $3 on Steam, and if you don't already own it, you have no excuse. Next game. Number 4. Number 4 is the greatest first-person shooter ever created. Words I never thought would leave my mouth. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is the number 4 game you must get for Christmas 2014. Have you ever wanted to relive those epic moments from the Star Wars movies? Well, now you can in this very accurate game. Whether you want to fly snow speeders on Hoth, blow up the Death Star, or fly through space in an X-Wing, you can live all your Star Wars fantasies. Battlefront 2 is currently 670 on Steam, but can probably probably be found for around $3 in a daily deal. Nevertheless, Star Wars Battlefront 2 is the greatest first-person shooter ever created, at least in my opinion. And everybody needs a copy. Next game! Number 3. Prison Architect. Prison Architect is bringing back the management genre. Pioneered by games like Roller Coaster Tycoon, Theme Hospital, and Dungeon Keeper. In Prison Architect, you will build a prison, manage it, love it, care for it, and watch it all crash down in a burning heap of riotous prisoners. Prison Architect is currently $10 on Steam, which is one-third of its usual price of $30. However, it will be somewhere around $6 in a daily deal, but it is still a must- a definite must-have. Next game! Number 2. Kerbal Space Program. Have you ever wanted to explore the depths of space? Have you ever wanted to build a rocket like NASA? Have you ever wanted to set foot on an alien planet? Well, in Kerbal Space Program, you can! You can literally launch a rocket, fly through the depths of space, and land on an alien body with no loading times. Although, you may want to use a bit of time warp. KSP is currently in beta and is $22.50 on Steam. However, don't let this price tag hold you back from an incredible game, as it is worth every single penny. There's also a demo if you have your doubts, but it's a few versions behind the current game. Now, for the final game. Number one! What else could this be but Terraria? Terraria, in my opinion, is one of the greatest games of all time. It is even better that it is only $2 on Steam at the time of this recording. In Terraria, you are stranded on an island, surrounded by two oceans, with only one friend who will get you killed repeatedly by not closing the gosh dang door, Andrew! Anyways, you have to explore, mine, and craft in order to beat bosses, unlock NPCs, and have a great time. Everyone already owns seven copies, but if you're not one of those people, Terraria is a definite Christmas must-have. So that wraps up my top 15 games to get for Christmas 2014. In a few days, my best games of 2014 video will come out, featuring some games from this list. Be sure to check out each of these deals, and do yourself a favor, or, as Tom Haverford would say, treat yourself! Thanks very much for watching, guys, and if you liked the video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. See you on the 26th! Have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Goodbye! Also, huge shout-out to Tom the Cube Gaming for this idea. He made a video that there will be a link to in the description, so go check that out. I'm not trying to copy him at all. Uh, we're friends on YouTube, so I'm not trying to copy him. He's He's got a good channel, but he's way underrated, so go check him out. Go check out that video. So thanks for the idea, Tom. Anyways, guys, goodbye.